Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. As many of you know, I am an investor in Tesla and in BYD. Why do I invest in BYD? Well, they're actually a very similar company to Tesla in many ways. They do a range of things, including battery manufacture, and they make a wide range of vehicles. Plus, they make components for electric cars. In addition to that, they now make sky rails. Not sure what a sky rail is? Well, watch the video to find out. A sky rail, interestingly enough, is a little bit like an electric car on a track. So it has wheels, similar to an electric car, pneumatic tires, in fact, and that enables the, basically the train to have a much more comfortable ride versus a standard railway line. BYD's Skyrail, let's call them trains, are also run on the new BYD blade battery, which gives them a huge advantage. They're incredibly quiet and silent, and also the new blade battery enables more than 3,000 charges before any real battery degradation starts to occur. In addition to that, BYD's blade batteries are extremely cost efficient, one of the most cost efficient batteries on the planet. I think this is another example of the amazing innovation going on at BYD. They are doing a huge number of things. They're just they're actually working on one of these sky rails right now in Brazil, along the coast of Brazil, and they've just finished the first one in China. Now, one month after the official launch of the new one, the new sky rail in China, which was launched on April the 16th. The Sky Shuttle chain train really still excites a lot of people looking. You can see there's videos of people online who look up and see this Sky, the Sky Shuttle. And, and it looks, I've got to say, it looks very modern, very cool. And one of the cool things about it is they don't need a driver. They're fully autonomous. In addition to being fully autonomous, they have 5G network connectivity. And I really like the way that the carriages line up with each other so that there's no wasted space. On trains here in Australia, and I think many trains I've been on around the world, uh, I rode my bike around the world for 12 months and visited about 26 different countries. And during that period of time, I also caught a number of trains. But I noticed that with most trains around the world, they have separate carriages and that just wastes the space in between the carriages, having the doors in between and then having a sort of a wasted gap in between. One of the good things about this is it's just like basically one long carriage, which is actually able to bend in different places. Another huge advantage I noticed in watching videos of this Skyrail is that because it has pneumatic tires and a battery and the way that it's just manufactured and designed, it's able to go up much steeper inclines than a normal train. A normal train is only capable of going up about a 7% incline. Whereas these can go up, up to a much, much higher incline than that. So if you're in a, a city like Rio, for example, in Brazil, then obviously a normal train network is not really going to work in most of the city. Get one of these and you're solving that problem. So the Sky Shuttle is the first project of its kind in China. It features electric powered, unmanned, fully automatic trains that run across 15.4 kilometers of ele elevated rails. Now they're working on more of these right now, but this is the first one that's been completed. So the Sky Shuttle, they've really designed to, re to further reduce congestion in the cities, cities in, well, in, the, in a place called the City of Hills in China, but obviously in cities with hills. The metro lines are like major veins, while the Sky Shuttle lines are like capillaries. Liang Zinz, Liz Hong, Vice Manager of Chongqing Sky Shuttle Rail Traffic and Operation and Management, told China.org.cn. The Sky Shuttle has been built considering local population scale and helps Bishan residents connect to the metro and city rail. Enjoy the local landscapes and parks and ease traffic jams. In the future, the Sky Shuttle will also be fitted with the new blade battery, like I said, developed under BYD's sub-brand Fin Dreams. According to staff in Fin Dreams' battery factory in Chongqing, on Monday, the blade battery has several advantages over traditional lithium-ion batteries, including exceptional safety, no battery fires, longer life, and endurance. The new battery is already in use in one of BYD in 
well, actually in six of BYD's pure electric vehicles, and they're now rolling it out to their buses, as well as their garbage trucks and other trucks that they have. But this is, in many ways, just the start, guys, for BYD. They have a range of products and software and parts that they're developing and building right now. In fact, what I've spoken about on my various videos on this channel is really just the start. I've really only touched the tip of the iceberg. There is a huge amount of things, electric motors, batteries, cars, trucks, buses, sky rails. The list goes on of the things that these guys are doing. They're working on autonomous tech. Obviously, this SkyTrain shuttle is able to do one thing which some people will hate and some people will love. Now, I love it because a problem that I have here in Australia is I have about eight different cards for the metro trains here. The reason being is I rarely catch the train. So when I do, I never remember to bring my card with me because I don't want to have to carry around in my wallet 20 different cards. I think most of us have this issue. We usually only carry around, unless we have a purse, like a lot of ladies do, we usually only carry around one, um, the, 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 actual, the absolute essentials we need in our wallet. So what happens is every time I get on the train, I have to go and buy a new card. So I think I have about seven or eight different cards. Now with this SkyRail, all you have to do is, if you want to, you don't have to do this, you can use a card if you want, but if you want to, you can use facial recognition, which would be a huge benefit for me. I would have saved probably $100 by now in not having all these different cards. And also the frustration of having to go and find somewhere to buy one every time I would catch the train. Well, not I haven't forgotten every time, but I've forgotten on a number of occasions. And it's been a huge hassle. This would massively help someone like me or like probably millions of people in the world who don't catch the train regularly and don't carry 25 different cards in their wallet that they don't need regularly. Now, in BYD, in one of BYD's institutes of high-tech industry, they have a wide range of high-tech products that are currently undergoing preliminary testing. The center, which entered into operation last year, has so far incubated around a dozen high-tech products covering smart manufacturing, new energy technology, and a range of other fields. It has also attracted more than 100 R&D personnel, while the total value of orders and incubating companies has exceeded 100 million yen. So guys, to sum up this story, before I started this YouTube channel, I knew very little about BYD. I thought I knew a lot. Truth is, I knew very little. I knew they made cars, and I knew they made smartphone batteries. But in fact, it turns out they are doing a huge number of things and they have a vast amount of skill. I think that probably because Tesla is cool and it's Western, we haven't re recognized there's also another Tesla. BYD is the Tesla of China. The reason I say that is not because of hyperbole, not to try and get you to watch this video and click, it's because I genuinely believe that is the case. BYD have the capacity and will, in I believe, over the next 10 years, take a huge portion of the electric car market, the electric bus market, they already have a huge portion of that, the electric truck market, and the electric car battery market. That is a huge disruption waiting to happen. A huge amount of money is going to transfer from existing companies who obviously have already missed the boat for electric and still have billions of dollars worth of assets in petrol, diesel, gas vehicles that they're going to have to write off. I believe they won't be able to compete in price with BYD. And eventually, many of the current existing companies, car companies in particular, will go bankrupt. BYD will take a vast majority of their sales. Guys, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.